Are you thinking about moving to Gardnerville, Nevada? Well, here are 10 things that people wish they knew before they moved here. Hi, I'm Jen Almeida with Intero Real Estate, and in this video, I'm going to give you 10 things that you may or may not know about life here in Gardnerville, Nevada. Imagine waking up to beautiful views of the Sierra Nevada mountain range, or the fresh pine smell, and a community that feels like family. But is it all as perfect as it seems? Let's get the scoop. The first thing that people wish they knew is that the weather here in Northern Nevada is unpredictable. It's great to have all four seasons, but on occasion, summer hasn't felt like summer and winter hasn't felt like winter. Sometimes we get snow in July and just this year we hit 67 degrees in January. One saying that we have here is that if you don't like the weather, wait five minutes and it'll change. If you plan to travel out of the area over any of the mountain passes, it's really important to be prepared any time of the year. Next on the list is the small town feel. Gardnerville might surprise you with its close-knit community vibes. Don't be surprised if your neighbors know your name after just a few weeks. You could even be welcome to your neighborhood with a plate of fresh baked cookies. To some, this is a benefit, and to others, it may seem a little intrusive. The third thing that people wish they'd known is that the nightlife in Gardnerville is very limited. So, if you're a night owl, you might find the nightlife options a bit of a letdown. The town quiets down early on most nights, so you'll want to plan your evening accordingly. This is also the case for many restaurants in town. In most cases, you'll wanna be seated and ready to eat no later than 8 p.m. if you plan on being served. Number four on the list is that Gardnerville is an outdoor paradise. From hiking in the mountains to fishing in the Carson River, Gardnerville is a haven for people that love to be outside. Not only are activities available right in Gardnerville, but within a 30 mile radius, you'll have access to ski resorts, Lake Tahoe, camping, biking, and so much more. The fifth thing that you might wanna know is that the cost of housing could surprise you either way, depending on where you're coming from. Compared to the neighboring state of California, our prices may seem much less in many cases. But if you're coming from a smaller town in Nevada, they could be a little bit higher. The median listing price in Gardnerville, Nevada is $889,000. So you'll want to plan accordingly if you're planning on moving to the area. Another thing about Gardnerville is that the job market is somewhat limited right in town. Many people that live in the area commute to Lake Tahoe, Carson City, or even Reno for their jobs. Some local employment opportunities right in Gardnerville could include restaurants, retail, agricultural, teaching, and even the local fire department, sheriff's office, or government jobs. Another thing that you're gonna to wanna to know is that Gardnerville is a host to many local events and traditions. It's a great way to dive into the community spirit. Some of these traditions include the Eagles and Ag Tour, which is held each January. You'll get to see some bald eagles, some hawks, and you'll learn about the local agriculture. There is also the Hot Air for Hope Festival, which is held in May, and Carson Valley Days, which is held in June. You won't want to miss either one of these events. In October, you won't want to miss Intero's Chili Cook-Off. This is a great event where people come out, taste chili, and you really get to feel the sense of community. There are also the local holiday events that begin at the end of November and run through December. Not to mention the local farmer's markets, plays, concerts, and so much more. Gardnerville truly has something for everyone to enjoy. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to check into if you have kids are the local schools. Gardnerville is part of the Douglas County School District and is host to a few elementary schools and one middle school. All of the high school students attend Douglas High School, which is located in Minden, Nevada. There are also a few options for private schools and online learning. See my YouTube channel for a video that is specifically dedicated to the Douglas County School District and all that it has to offer. 
Another thing that surprises people when they come here is all the wildlife that Gardnerville has to offer. Don't be caught off guard if you see the occasional deer wandering through your yard and maybe even a bear or a raccoon. Mountain lions have also been seen in the outlying areas. And if you look above, you can see the bald eagles soaring through the beautiful blue skies of Gardnerville, Nevada. The wildlife in Gardnerville is quite diverse and can be incredibly charming. But make sure you're cautious if you're not familiar with the area. And the last thing I want to make sure to mention that people notice about Gardnerville is the strong sense of community support. From local businesses to neighborhood gatherings, most people feel very welcomed as they join the community. I hope this video has given you some insight into what it's like to live in Gardnerville, Nevada. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more information on Gardnerville and the surrounding area. Also, follow me on social media. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'm Jen Almeida with Intero Real Estate.